Welcome to Thrifty Garage. My name is Carson, and in today's video, we're going to replace the handles on this wheelbarrow. This is the main reason we're replacing the handles. As you can see, the front of this is broken off, and this bracket not only provides a bump stop when you dump, but it also holds the wheels, holds the handles together, and keeps the wheel in place. This will be a relatively easy process. Uh, we just need to take these bolts out and drill new holes in the new handles. Uh, the hardest part is going to be some of these bolts are going to be rusty and hard to get undone. Most of these bolts are half inch, but some have been replaced, such as this one, which is a little bit larger. I'm going to go ahead and spray some penetrating lube on here, hopefully help us out. Vice grips are often a useful tool when dealing with bolts such as these. I continued to loosen the bolts that I could, leaving the really difficult ones for last. The best way to remove these bolts was to cut a notch in the carriage bolt head with the angle grinder and use a large screwdriver to hold them in place. Another way to break these bolts loose would be with the use of heat. Luckily, I did not have to break out the torch on this project. Next, I disassembled all the parts, taking note of where everything goes. Now that I've got that disassembled, I'm going to take this old one, put it up next to the new one, and mark out where my holes need to go, and use that as a template to drill out my new holes. So I've got a hole up front here for the, the nose, uh, this hole, two holes here for the wheel, we've got then the two holes for the um, barrel part. One thing to note when uh, picking up these wheelbarrow handles, as you can see, where this one failed is we've got the grains going at kind of a diagonal and that bolt broke out and it splintered all the way back. So that's what caused this one to break. Uh, you can tell it's also very aged and old, so that's another reason it failed. But I'm looking for a replacement one. I looked for one with as fine a grains as possible, so it was stronger. And then also having the grain um, go horizontally through the wood. Cost for new handles was about $15 a piece. Hardware was five to $10 for a total of about $40. Keep in mind a new Jackson wheelbarrow goes for about $100, depending on what you get. So I didn't drill these out perfectly straight on this last one, that's why I flipped it over because I knew my starting point was pretty pretty good and my ending angle wasn't perfect. So I just drilled out some pilot holes. Hopefully I can get a straighter drill on these. Just trying to think what's the best way to rebuild this. I'll probably put the wheels and legs on. Well, kind of have to just bolt it all together. As far as replacement hardware on this, I'm putting all new. It's just going to be easier. I believe I've got 5 16 inch bolts and nuts. These are carriage bolts. I probably should have gone with regular bolts uh, just because these heads are going to be wanting to spin. Uh, probably put a uh, thread locker on these. We've got two 1 inch, two 2.5 two inch, uh, six I think, um, yeah, six 3 inch, and then two 4 inch. And um, your size may be different on your wheelbarrow, but this is a good uh, bet. And then I've got washers and lock nuts as well. 
Um, so we'll see how this goes together. I know these wheelbarrows usually tend to loosen up. That's why I got lock nuts as well as, like I said, use some thread locker. I like to use the blue thread locker. You can see I put my date on there when it, I opened it, so I know how long it's been open for. Um, blue thread locker from Permatex. As with most assembly items, it is best to loosely install all the bolts and nuts, then tighten once everything is in place. I used a center punch to mark the location of where to drill this hole. Thanks for watching this Thrifty Garage video. I hope it's been informative and beneficial, at least entertaining at a minimum. And uh, thanks for watching, please subscribe.